Our other top story here at 534 to DTE, Inga history making deal to get green energy to power Ford's Michigan plants. Today's purchase agreement means that all of the electricity used by Ford to make vehicles in Michigan will come from renewable resources by 2025. That would make it the largest purchase of renewable energy in U.S. history. Business editor Rob Maloney has a look at the big plans to get it done. It has long been Bill Ford's goal to not only build green vehicles, but also to build them using green energy. And today they're making a major leap forward to that end. Ford CEO Jim Farley emphasized this is Ford's refounding. All Ford's vehicles built in Michigan now will use that green energy they're buying from DTE, taking a swipe at the big EV rival. A shining light for us at Ford is this beautiful lightning made right down the road in Dearborn, right here in the state of Michigan, already the leader of all EV pickup trucks in our industry in the United States. Take that, Elon Musk. Farley announcing the automaker will go carbon free by 2025. This is a 10 year move up of our, in the state of Michigan, we're moving our carbon offset effectively up 10 years. They expect to increase Michigan solar energy creating capacity by 70%. And DTE CEO Jerry Norcia told us they have gone to great lengths not to have a situation like Texas did last winter. The, the goal is first and foremost is reliable energy. And uh, we've got a very balanced portfolio of uh, what we call 24 by 7 power. So we've got nuclear, we've got a nuclear plant, we've got coal plants, and we've built a state-of-the-art gas plant. Ford was the first major company to sign up for the DTE Green Power program three years ago. And Farley says it's showing leadership, not so much profitability. It's kind of more fundamental than dollars and cents. This is the right thing to do. Some of our competitors have similar carbon offset goals, but they buy clean energy in other parts of the country to offset their their uh, their energy needs in Michigan. And so what Farley said is he and his team said absolutely no to that. We want to generate that electricity right here in the state. And that's exactly what they're doing. And it's no small effort, by the way. DTE has to come up with 6,000 acres of land to put their solar panels on to make all of this happen. Back to you. All right, Rod. And where is that DTE in the process? Well, they, they've told us that they've spent the last three years sort of ramping up for this, but they say that they do have land contracts and should be able to make sure they have all of that power when they need it when the time comes. Big changes on the way. We appreciate it. Thank you, Rob.